pretty crazy things, but there's a purpose, and the purpose is to save lives. One of the biggest fears is getting trapped in a building or getting cut off from your crew and getting lost. And uh, we have crews that stand by who are there just to rescue firefighters. So how would they get you out of the building? Say you're at a high rise, it's, it's 80 stories. How are they going to get you out of the building if, if it's higher than the ladders can reach right now? Well, that's where the problem is. You know, if, you're, if you can get to a ladder, that's great. But if you're higher than the ladder, your options become very limited. So I'll jump off of buildings, speed line out of windows, get shot with a hail of bullets, swim with sharks, all to prove that my equipment works. We'll put dual igniters, one on each side. So if you got your handles, you can pivot it, have two thumbs. And who's standing there. behind it and pressing these triggers? Well, that'll be me, of course. Good lad. <laughs> will be me. <laughs> uh, I have been labeled a mad scientist several times, and I, I guess I would say I am comfortable with that. That thing can either shoot outwards, or it can explode like a grenade. Fuel, detonate, fire, shoots the line. Should be simple and quick. I call this thing the Thunder Launch Rope Delivery System. <laughs> and based on our discussions, I think that this has real practical applications as far as getting guys out of buildings. This thing looks awesome. This is who you're going to rescue. <laughs> Go for it. Dude, fire in the hole. He's actually doing it. That's amazing. Doing it, and he's going to save lives with it. If we can make it a way for aircrafts to absorb massive kinetic energy, then I think that we can save pilots' lives. This is the MX-311 water gun. This opens up to the chamber where I actually ride inside. The pressure is real. If you mess up, you're dead. It doesn't mean that Max is the only brave one, he's just the bravest one. with just being part of the team. You have three to five minutes before you're knocked unconscious and eight to 12 minutes before you're dead. It has cut all the blood flow of his body. It's putting more pressure on his chest cavity. I think we're gonna go to a four-story industrial building. I'm gonna jump off the roof. There's no way you can get me up there. 